Have you ever wondered if it is possible to make mini woodworking projects using wood logs? If you are looking for stylish wood furniture and wooden decor ideas to transform your space consider making mini woodworking projects using wood logs. That way, you can come up with easy wood decoration ideas or small woodworking projects for gifts. There are several contemporary woodworking projects that you can make for sale, for gift, or for personal use by using wood logs. Woodworking is not just a hobby for skilled artisans, it can be an enjoyable activity for anyone willing to explore their creativity. Using wood logs as the primary material for many woodworking projects opens up a world of possibilities. Wood logs are versatile, readily available, and can be transformed into charming decor, functional items, and unique gifts. Hello there, welcome to our channel. Today we will show you a collection of small wood log ideas you can make as mini woodworking projects. So, watch the video until the end to see these beautiful ideas and get inspiration. We post furniture, decor and craft ideas videos on daily basis. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to never miss these inspirational furniture, decor and craft ideas. Smash the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. Also don't forget to like and share this video as your likes and shares enable us grow our channel and give you more content in return. Wood logs bring a rustic charm to any project. Their unique grain patterns, textures, and colors add character, making each piece one of a kind. The warmth of wood can create a cozy atmosphere in your home or garden. Wood logs can often be sourced from local suppliers, tree trimming services, or even your backyard. They are generally affordable compared to processed lumber, making them an accessible option for many projects. Using wood logs can be a sustainable choice, especially if they come from local sources or reclaimed wood. This practice minimizes environmental impact and promotes responsible woodworking. Before diving into projects, it's important to gather the necessary tools and materials. Here's a basic list. 1. Tools. Handsaw or chainsaw, for cutting logs to desired lengths. Chisels, useful for carving and shaping wood. Drill, for making holes or attaching pieces. Sander, to smooth rough surfaces. Clamps, to hold pieces together while working. Wood glue, for joining pieces securely. Finish, polyurethane, varnish, or natural oils for protection. Two, materials. Wood logs, choose logs of various diameters and lengths based on your project needs. Sandpaper, various grits for smoothing surfaces. Paint or stains, optional, for adding color or enhancing grain. As you see in the video, there are several mini woodworking project ideas you can consider making. These include, coasters, candle holders, planters, picture frames and so much more. In order to make a rustic coaster, the materials needed are thin slices of wood logs, sandpaper, and wood finish. The first step is to select logs, choose logs with a diameter of about 4 to 6 inches. Next cut slices. Use a hand saw or chainsaw to cut the logs into 1 inch thick slices. Sand edges, smooth the edges and surfaces using sandpaper. For the finish, apply a wood finish to protect the coasters from moisture. Consider using different types of wood for a variety of colors and grain patterns. Personalize coasters by branding them with a wood burning tool. In order to log candle holders you need wood logs, drill with a spade bit, sandpaper, and tea light candles. Start by choosing logs, select logs of varying heights for visual interest. Use a drill with a spade bit to create holes in the top of each log, ensuring they fit tea light candles snugly. Sand surfaces and smooth all surfaces to prevent splinters. Finally apply a protective finish to enhance the wood's natural beauty. Group multiple candle holders together for a centerpiece. Experiment with different hole sizes for various candle types.
To make log planters, the materials needed are large logs, drill, potting soil, small plants or succulents. First select a log, choose a log that is at least 12 inches long and 6 inches in diameter. Next hollow out the log. Use a drill to hollow out the center of the log, leaving enough wood on the sides for stability. Drill small holes at the bottom for drainage. Add potting soil and plant your chosen greenery. For the finish, optionally apply a finish to the outer surface for protection. Use succulents for low-maintenance planters. Decorate the planter with moss or stones for added interest. If you plan to make log picture frames, the materials needed are thin slices of wood logs, wood glue, clamps, sandpaper, glass or acrylic sheet. First you need to cut frames. Slice logs into 1 inch thick pieces to form the frame sides. Then, assemble frame. Glue the pieces together at the corners, forming a rectangle or square. Use additional wood or cardboard to create a backing. Place a glass or acrylic sheet in front of the frame and secure it. Finally, sand and apply a finish for protection. Use contrasting woods for a more dynamic look. Personalize frames with engravings or carvings. You might also consider making a log serving tray. For this project you will need a larger log, saw, sandpaper, handles, wood finish. Select a log with a diameter of at least 8 inches. Slice the log into a flat base about 2 inches thick. Smooth the edges and surfaces thoroughly. Drill holes and attach handles on either side for easy carrying. Finally, apply a food safe finish to protect the wood. Consider adding a decorative border around the tray. Use a wood bunning tool to personalize the tray. When undertaking woodworking projects, safety should always be a priority. Protect your eyes from dust and debris. Wear earplugs or earmuffs when using power tools. Use dust masks to avoid inhaling wood particles. Well, there you have them. Our hand-picked small wood log ideas you can make as many woodworking projects. Which ones did you like? What did you like about them? Share us your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you've enjoyed our today's content. If you do, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. Your subscriptions, likes and shares are what inspire us to create more content. Therefore please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And finally, thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.